Hey guys, it's Lena here and in this video I'm excited to show you our brand new and reworked version of Arturia's flagship virtual piano, Piano V. During the video I'll show you its range of new features and functions as well as play through some of the interesting sounds and presets it comes with. Let's dive in. Piano V's third version is a meticulously modeled virtual piano, which uses physical modeling to offer the most realistic acoustic piano experience. Thanks to its newly rebuilt sound engine and unique algorithms, it perfectly reproduces all the tonal nuances of a real piano, while giving you access to a range of modeling options to personalize your sound. With the 12 different models ranging from American Grand up to Pop Up Right, musicians and producers are able to explore all possible dimensions of the classical and modern piano sound. Last but not least, it comes with 78 new presets covering every genre, including classical, modern pop, jazz, ambient, and beyond. Before we dive deep into the features, let's play a few presets to get a taste of how it sounds. Piano V's main interface is designed to allow the maximum playfulness and quick access to most important controls, which let you adjust its sound in real time, according to your needs. Its main panel is composed of a visual representation of the 12 different models that Piano V includes. Underneath this, there's a piano model selection section, four sound shaping macros, and the output section with reverb, volume, and limiter. There's also the advanced panel, which expands the model and effects sections for full editing control over the sound engine and effects. We'll cover the advanced panel later on. Back to the main page, let's listen now to a few different models to hear the difference in sound. As you can hear, the American is the typical concert grand with a very balanced tone, perfect for classical music, but not limited to it. Japanese grand, on the other hand, is brighter and more punchy, cutting through the mix better and therefore suited to more modern genres. Pop Up Right is the typical home piano with a bright tone but also a very dynamic sound. While Plaque Grand introduces more creative and cinematic sounding piano with a mallet like characteristic. These 12 piano models cover the whole spectrum of sought after piano sounds and characteristics. Moving on, the four macro controls allow you to quickly edit your sound while playing to make it more personal. Let's now play a few more presets to hear how the brightness, timbre, dynamics, and stereo width will affect the sound. Thank you. 
as you can hear, these instantly change the tone and texture of whatever preset you're using. By default, brightness always controls the hammer hardness, timber controls the piano's age, while dynamics controls the dynamics parameter, which defines how much the note volume changes in response to key velocity. And mic position controls the ambient mics parameter. You can of course change this by creating your own personal macro assignments in the settings area. Lastly in this section, Piano V shows the sustain, sostenuta and soft pedals in the bottom toolbar. Entering the advanced panel, we are presented with the model and effects sections. In the model section, we gain access to all the engine parameters, which allows us to design our own piano sounds. The action controls define the behavior of the hammer, like how hard it hits the strings, as well as its position in relation to them. Next up, the release time defines how long it will take for the dampers to mute the strings after the keys are released. While dynamics defines how much the notes change in volume in response to key velocity. Then there are acoustics. Here we can define if the piano's lid is closed, partly open, or completely open. In addition to this, we can define how much the strings will vibrate as the result of movement of neighboring strings, but also how much the soundboard vibrates in relation to the strings. It's this attention to detail that will really help to set your piano sound apart. The mic section gives us access to the mic positioning over the piano. Here we have four presets to choose from, classical, home, pop, and mono. We can also define the stereo width or ambient mics individually, thanks to their respective controls. The next block allows us to manipulate the string's behavior. This one's really useful because it allows us to not only change the global tuning of the strings, but also introduce stretch tuning, which defines how much the higher notes are progressively tuned higher in relation to the lower notes. The other controls in this section allow us to introduce unison detune. This one sets the detuning between strings on notes that use multiple strings, sounding really rich and dense. Besides, you can mature your piano by introducing the age control, which determines the condition of the instrument from older to newer.
This means you can go from a new piano in perfect condition to an older one by tuning the age control up. These tools are useful when creating more creative and experimental piano presets. The Noises section offers access to the hammers and dampers noise behavior, adding a touch of realistic background sound. The hammer control defines the amount of noise when hammers hit the strings, while key release defines the sound the hammers make as they return to their initial position after striking a string. The sustain pedal noise parameter defines the sound of all dampers pulling away from the strings as the sustain pedal is pressed. Finally here, the keyboard section allows you to create your own velocity curve shapes as well as calibrate the keyboard to assure the most accurate and expressive playing experience. The calibration process is extremely important in getting the most out of the instrument. Its extra expressivity really comes to life when you calibrate the instrument precisely to suit your needs. Taking these steps during calibration will simply give you the best piano sound for your personal style. The final section of the instruments offers four effects, equalizer, compressor, preamp, and reverb. The three-band EQ controls low, mid, and high frequencies for precise frequency sculpting of your piano sound. Each range offers plus and minus 15 decibels of boost or cut, with each band being able to cover the full spectrum of frequencies from 10 Hz up to 22,000 Hz. The compressor, on the other hand, controls the dynamics of the output signal, making sure that the piano always cuts through the mix, while the preamp allows the addition of the extra harmonics to slightly saturate the sound. Finally, the reverb features 13 algorithms covering various types of space and ambience. Let's play a few more presets to hear how the effects can impact the final sound. Okay, so that's it for the tutorial. I hope you got the chance to see how amazing and diverse the Piano V sound is. From the classic sounds of yesterday to inspiring sounds of tomorrow, it's got you covered. Make sure to leave thumbs up and subscribe to Arturia's channel for more creative and educational content in the future. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon.